Hi, Sandra here from Create in Spain. I'm looking at my screen at the moment and although the top says QuickTime Player, if I click on here I'm going to get the iDraw um, bar at the top there. Now I'm using iDraw today to show you one of the new features that they've put into the new version. Uh, if you already had iDraw, there is a free update. I think it's 2.5 if I remember correctly. But it has one particularly nice feature for us paper crafters and that is a repeat pattern fill. So I'm going to show you how to use that. But first of all, I'm going to alter something on my screen. At the moment I've got a standard page set up, it's an A4 page. And you get that by going to File, New, and then choosing one of the templates or putting in your own size, whichever you want to do. But I want to get rid of this white fill because sometimes that is confusing when you import shapes, you're not quite sure what shape, what's background, and whether it's got a line around it or whether it's got a transparent background or whatever. So I like to use a transparent fill. So go to the one up here in the properties. Now if you don't have the properties and the appearance boxes showing up, go up to the windows and check appearance and properties. I have not got the other two checked because I like to keep my screen as clear as I can. These are the ones that I want to be using at the moment. So I'm going to go to this one which is the page and it says canvas, background, colour and if you click on the arrows down here, you get various options, including image, radial gradient, linear, color, and none, transparent. And then it clicks and changes to that, which is exactly what I want. Thank you very much. That's great. Okay, so what am I going to do? I think what I'll do is, first of all, I will import an image. So I'm just going to minimize this and see if I've got anything here. Okay, I've got a couple of images here. PNGs, and I quite like PNGs, so I've got them here. Right, so I'm going to go to File, Open, and these are the PNGs that I've got, so I'm gonna go for, oh, I'll go for the heart, I think. Why not? Okay, and open this. Now it's really big, so I obviously don't want it that size and I'm going to shrink it right down to a more respectable size. Okay now what am I going to do with it to get a pattern of some sort? I think I'm going to copy and rotate it. I think that's what I'm going to do. So over here is the rotate button so I click on that and you notice the dot in the centre, and this is the centre of rotation. So I want to click on that, and I want to put it down there instead. Because if I use that as the centre of rotation, the heart will just rotate around that axis, and that won't be a particularly wonderful effect. Now, my angle of rotation, oh heavens, how many am I going to give it? Oh, okay, I think I'll whack this up to, whoops, not quite 40. About 40 degrees, okay. And I'm going to go to copy, and there we go. You can see that it will rotate all my copies. Isn't that pretty? So I've decided I fancy having that as a pattern. So all I'm going to do is go up here and grab that and make it smaller because it's way, way too big. That will do fine. Yeah. So I've now got that as my image and if I click on here, this is the fill colour, you get a box up which says colour, gradient or pattern. If I click on pattern and then click on the plus, if you look at this area here, this should be filled with this. I have one already over there, the same. There we go. And so now, if I take a shape of any description, oh, hang on, I've not got a line set. I've got naught points. Okay, I'll give it a bit of thickness on the line here. 
because otherwise you won't be able to see it and that would be a bit of a shame wouldn't it and there we go and now if I go to fill and I go to pattern I can choose one of these and if I choose this one it puts it inside and then I can actually adjust this if I go to the appearance pane here there's stroke and there's paintbrush and there's the fill it comes up now with the pattern and I can adjust the scale the opacity and the angle of the pattern so if I adjust the angle we do that sort of thing yep yeah, fun and I can adjust the scale so there we go you can make it really big and you can make it really small and the opacity of it so I can make it semi-transparent if I wanted to quite fun if you want to do things which has got several layers on it to have a background layer which is semi-transparent and then more opaque things on top of it okay so that's how you do that and if I just select everything and click there we are and get rid of it all if you want to make your own patterns from various things you can Just going to do a few star shapes. Now you can't see them because I don't have a line on them. Okay, I want to put a fill on those. I think I'll make them yellow. That's reasonable for a star, isn't it? Okay, let's just move this one. But I think I'll delete that one. I don't want that one. It's a bit too big. And I think I will put a stroke on them. So go to the appearance and stroke and just put that up to one point, just a very fine stroke there. Okay, now if I go over here and I go to pattern and I click plus, it's added that to the pattern menu. So I can delete that. I can draw now something else. Whoops, X again. Go to the fill, go to pattern, and do that. Okay, so it's got lots of possibilities, lots of fun to use, and uh, yeah, you could use that to print off all sorts of fun filled shapes. Hope you found that useful. Thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.